Hey Hans, I hope you are all well. Now in today's video, I'm giving you lot hair, makeup and an outfit. But first things first is hair. This hair was kindly sent to me by Diamond Virgin Hair Company. I will leave the details to their Instagram and website down below. I absolutely love this hair. Now I'm just curling it with, a, with an old barrel curler. I've had this for about two years now. Any old barrel curler, wand, or if you're blessed enough to be able to curl with a straightener, then you can achieve this look by using a straightener also. You wanna ensure that you are actually pinning your curls while they are still hot. It will be very ineffective if you do it otherwise. So I'm just gonna section off the hair and curl the rest of it. Now I only stuck this frontal down, we've got to be spray, hence why the one side is already lifting. But who gonna check me? who anyways just gonna finish off curling the hair and remember to always curl away from the face but at the back you can get away with doing them really so now we're just gonna move on to makeup so i am using the milk hydro grip primer and honestly i love this primer it does exactly what it says on the tin it grips okay and i'm very sad that i did not pick up the bigger size uh, I got the smaller size thinking it was a bit bigger and thinking, you know, let me try first before I actually spend £28 on a primer. Anyways, I'm going to let that settle into my skin. Well, I'm going to let that settle into my skin for about two minutes and then go in with my NARS Natural Radiance Foundation in the shade Macau. Love this foundation to the death of me. Oh my God. Um, like, I love this foundation. I love NARS in general. I've been using their complexion products for about six years now. And honestly, I do not look any other way. I do want to try some other foundations, but I'm a bit skeptical. Anyway, I'm using my More 3439 brush to blend this out. Where to Uche, this brush is actually amazing. We do not stand for Morphe's actions. Um, if you are in the makeup community, then you know what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna use it because I pay for it. And yeah, so I'm just gonna blend. And now we're using my Born This Way Too Faced, Too Faced? Yes, Too Faced concealer in the shade Cookie. The camera did not want to focus, but I love this concealer. I think I've mentioned this in my other videos. It's very yellow and the coverage is amazing. So I love this for giving me that bright under eye. So I'm literally just placing it in the points that I would like my face to be highlighted. So under my eye, chin, above my lip, nose, and my forehead. I'm also going to go in with my e.l.f. hydrating concealer. I think in the shade tan. Now I love doubling up on concealers, doubling up, layering my concealers to give me that full coverage look i love it and where this foundation is very natural and very buildable it's medium coverage i believe i like going in with a heavy concealer just to balance it out i'm also going in with my contour shade i don't know what color this is in but this is also the elf hydrating concealer i will leave the name to the concealer down below so you guys can have a look uh, I never ever actually put my two concealers on at the same time, so I don't know why I've done this today. Anyways, I'm going in with my old foundation brush. This is Zoeva, my Zoeva foundation. This is my Zoeva foundation brush to blend my under eye. Now, normally I use a smaller brush, but I don't know where I was rushing to, so. I'm using this to basically cover more ground. <laughs> um, unfortunately, because the brush is so big, I cannot get into the nooks and crannies, but it does the job for the most part. So I'm going to keep the under eye concealer very controlled and keep it all into one place. I think this is very important when placing your concealer under your eye and blending. You don't want to drag it too far down and you don't want to drag it too far out depending on the look you're going for. But I'm keeping it very focal very in the middle of my face and dragging it up into my brow as opposed to dragging it straight into my hairline i'm just going to continue blending blend 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 and also start to blend the other side blending is key very tedious let me not lie and i absolutely hate doing it i think that's why i've opted to start using 
the bigger brush but it's just a very long process but you need to do it like you need to you, nobody wants flashback nobody wants unblended makeup nobody wants that so i'm just gonna go in with my smaller zoeva brush which is an actual concealer buffing brush which i normally use for my under eye to get into the places that i couldn't get into with the bigger brush if you don't do this face are you really blending hmm. <laughs> So now I'm just going to go in and blend my contour out as well. So I put it on my forehead, my cheeks and on my jawline as well as my nose. Just going to blend all that in together. Make it very seamless, you know. You need to give, you need to give off skin. Do you know what I mean? So now we're going in with my um, Real Technique brush for my nose contour. Because I think it just, it's just a great brush for that area just going to continue blending now we're going in with another concealer because i just can't get enough hun clearly i'm just going in with my kevin laquan sensual skin enhancer i think this is in the shade sx10 or something like that very bright and that's why i'm only keeping it under my eye i'm not taking it anywhere else um i'm just keeping it under my eye to just brighten that up a bit brighten english jade jade do not forget to call myself jade anyways to brighten up my under eye now i'm using my huda beauty banana bread powder now i love this powder so much it smells so good like if you have not got this powder get it i do need to actually pick up the laura mercier powder in the shade honey now they've got a new one to try that out but honestly i do love this powder and it smells so good and it sinks into the skin effortlessly just yum okay now we're going in to my brows i don't do anything to my brows i literally fill it in but fill it in with strokes i'm using my mua micro pencil this was literally only like two quid or three quid um i used to use the nyx one but that was 11 pounds or nine pounds and <laughs> economy all tight so um yeah we ain't gonna be doing that <laughs> for a while now moving on to eyeshadow grabbing my Huda beauty palette and using this muted purple the stone shade color to basically just put all over my lid and grabbing my game of thrones palette and grabbing this pink and putting it on top of my lids also now your finger is your best friend when it comes to applying eyeshadow let me not lie so i'm just gonna dust away all the excess powder on my face using my little brush oh my hands are dry goddamn um and i did not show it but i am using my mac mineralized skin finish to basically pat everything in now i'm going to go in with my fenty beauty bronzer this is in the shade coco naughty and i absolutely love this bronzer it just gives the girls what i want basically now, I do not have a blush, so I'm using this eyeshadow palette. This is also from Huda Beauty to basically give my cheeks some more colour, add a bit more dimension to my face. Now, I think the camera cut off. I think the camera cut. I think the camera cut off because I only have this footage of me lip lining my lips with a pencil from MUA, but I literally added a nude lip and then also added some gloss on top, as you can see. Now, right now we're going back to the hair. We're taking out our pin curls, you know, and using my fingers to basically run through the curls. Oh, I think I've left the clip there. Yes, you have, Charlie. Do you pick it up? Do you take it up? Do you take it up? <laughs> so right now I'm just brushing out my hair. And as you can see, the curls have come up so nicely. It's so bouncy. It's just lovely like this is what pink curls does like you need to hop on the pink curl wagon if you have not what you waiting for um so right now i'm giving you lot youtube vixen posing now i did have music playing here so i'm just gonna let you guys look at me as i pose all right that's right mm -mm. yeah okay give them oh yes honey you deserve to be a model you are beautiful you are amazing you are fabulous like oh, look at you just gorgeous she is gorgeous gorgeous mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as we have now seen the finished look now we're gonna go on to my 
outfit this outfit is a two-piece from women's wear i love this two-piece to the death of me um, i paired it with my fendi vintage bag and my asos purple iridescent heels now that is the end of this video see you guys in the next one bye